artist Alan Sturgeon and I have Asperger's syndrome now I have a piece of grass tree here that I'm going to wood turn now you do need a dust mask when turning grass tree because grass tree is carcinogenic and can give you cancer which we don't want now so I do suggest if you're going to wood turn grass tree to make sure you've got a dust mask on and good pair of safety glasses because if the dust from the grass tree gets in your eyes it can burn like someone's put pepper in your face I can guarantee you that because I've had the stuff in my eyes many times from turning it from over the years that I've been turning grass tree now what we're going to do is I'm going to move the camera to a better position so you can watch so we'll be back shortly after we well I'm now going to start turning it the grass tree Now this stuff's quite dusty as you can see, just look at it covering my arm. And it's like real fine, it doesn't come off like normal bit of wood. And you can see the creation that it's starting already from what's happening from the natural bits left in the grass tree and the colours coming out. But they never all dry the same colour, when they age they go dark brown or a darker colour. So as they age they change colour. Now what I'm going to do is get back to shaping this. Well that's one part of the bowl, then I've just got to shape the foot, then it's hollow out in this side. Now we'll get back to that in a moment. I have to move the camera again to another position so you could get a different view. Now I'm going to do the foot of the grass tree. I'm going to shape that into the now for the bottom of the bowl. <laughs>
got the outside shape of the grass tree bowl and the foot done except, except for it's a matter of I've got to sand it a little bit first before I turn the inside on this bowl on the grass tree bowl but I also have to move the camera in position so you can see me turn the inside of the bowl too so I'm going to do a bit of sanding first and I'm going to turn the camera off and we'll get back to you after I've done the sanding on the outside and we got set up to turn the inside of the bowl out back soon sorry that was me bump the camera I'm going to hollow out the inside of the bowl now you should see all the material that I've turned off of here all the waste on the floor it actually looks like sand and I tell you what when I get the grass trees sometimes they're wet and damp and it looks like damp wet sand and it comes off like a sandy material when you turn it as, as why you've noticed there wasn't no real actually wood chips like you normally do get with wood so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hollow it out with my round end nose scraper that looks a bit like a butter knife and that's only to help me cut as I come back up that way As you can see, it's quite dusty, isn't it? That's because this is very dry. I have turned it when it's damp, and it's more like wet sand, whereas this is more like dry, dusty sort of. Remember, you do need a dust mask on because it's casting again grass tree. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to you after I've cut the bit out of the middle and finalised the inside shape. Then it'll be I'm ready for sanding. And I'll show you what it looks like when I've got it all sanded up and ready. What I'm going to do first before I really do sand it is I'm going to get it to the final depth and final thickness of the walls.
Okay, now I've got my final depth of what I want and the thickness of the walls of the bowl. Now it's a matter of getting the sandpaper and moving this rest out of the way and starting the sanding of the inside of the bowl. Dust mask on when turning grass, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to you after I've finished doing most of the sanding and getting ready to start the polishing. I've sanded it up to 320 grit paper. Now I'm going to paint this stuff what I've got in this container on it and let it soak in. If you want to know what it is, it's shellac flakes and methylated spirits mixed to a certain amount. Not an exact amount, it's just a rough estimate. Well I know how much I need to mix in this stuff to make this stuff that I'm using here. Well it's a rough guess anyway. So what I'm doing now is just going to let this flood it with it and let the grass tree wood draw up this stuff that I'm painting onto it as a sealer, like a sanding sealer sort of idea. We'll come back to you after that. I've got to do several coats of this to build it up too before I start waxing and polishing and sanding more with finer paper. Well what I'm doing now is I'm doing a bit of the polishing with the wax and that stuff I made and I'm just using ordinary candle wax by the way and I'm using this stuff to help me as a little bit to make the paper more slippery or what to say make less friction when I'm doing this. Trying to work the wax and stuff into the wood is what I'm doing, or into the grass tree. So it's slowly polish it. So, well, this is a piece of um, 800 grit paper that I'm using now. So that's how far I've sanded up to 800 grit on this grass tree bowl. What I'm going to do is work this in for a while and go up to a finer grade of paper, you know what I mean, like up to about 2,000 grit at the max then so that jet then it's finished polishing it off and it's cut the bowl off the lathe then I'll show you what the grass tree bowl looks like afterwards so we'll see you at the end when I show you my bowl I've made so we'll get back to you then, thanks for watching this and that was my fingers luckily and it's got, yes it has got a natural edge on this bowl too you may actually wonder what I'm doing with this lighter. Well, you know I've been using wax and oil, and of course bits get stuck up in things, don't they? So why not the only way? Just get my lighter and slightly mount them out a little bit on either side, and then when I finish, just get a nice soft brush to help me get the excess wax out. So that's what I'm trying to do with the lighter and a brush, is to get rid of that excess wax. So now I basically finish the bowl now it's just a matter of a quick buff up again with a cloth then it's cut it off the bottom finish sanding the bottom then show you my bowl that I've made
Be back when we've done. Well, all I've got to do now is finish cutting it off with a hand saw without the rest in the way. Then sand the bottom of it up and polish the bottom. Then I can show you what the bowl looks like that I've made from grass tree. Now, remember when turning grass tree you should wear your dust mask of course. And good safety glasses. Thank you for watching this part of my video. Now the next step is to show you what it looks like when I've finished. Now remember I have Asperger's syndrome so I sort of get a bit muddled up probably at times. Oh well never mind, that's me. I'm Alan, that's my grass tree bowl I made. Let's take one more look at my grass tree bowl that I've made before I go. The natural edge bowl. And of course the natural hole in the side of the bowl. There's the base of the bowl. See all the different colours but grass tree comes in many different colours but it will always dry to a darker brown colour when finished curing over time. Thank you for watching my video on how to make a grass tree bowl. Now remember if you're turning grass tree do use a dust mask and I'm Alan Sturgeon well I should say I'm artist Alan Sturgeon and I have Asperger's syndrome and thank you for watching my video. Till next time